hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to um hit that subscribe button subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on your post notification and you can check out my other videos when you're done with this one <laughs> so in today's video i'm going to be doing a do's and don'ts of med school this is basically a guide for med students like what you need to get your med school so why i really want to do this video is because um it's something that has helped me like these are like my basic um something basic that every med student need to know especially yeah you just need to know this to get you med school so without further ado let's get on with the video. all right so the first thing that you have to know i mean you must do is that you must love what you learn love what you learn you have to love medicine in order to learn it that like love it understand it and you're good to go whatever you're learning um is it upper limb love upper limb like <laughs> have this excitement for it because there are some days when you feel so tired and and it's when you love what you're learning that you'll be like okay i want to because that's actually what have been keeping me to like me loving the fact that i'm doing medicine or what i'm studying that has actually been what has been motivated bits in me so if you do that i promise you it's going to be then secondly easier. in med school you have to make good friends early if you notice i didn't just say make friends early i said make good friends early <laughs> i sound like a lecturer anyways making good friends early is a very crucial thing because the friends you make right like from your hundred level or um, like as you enter med school they are like the friends that you will keep till you graduate and those friends they need to be friends that motivate you that like you guys read together you do everything together so that you know that you make friends with people that i don't even know that are like at completely opposite of what you are in terms of your academics like people that don't read if they don't read you too, you will not read them because you'll be looking at them and they're going to party they're doing something else and you you're just this thing so make good friends friends that motivates you if possible make friends that you met him but that doesn't mean you, you won't have like friends in other this thing but make good friends that will help you in your distance so this is the second thing i'll yeah <laughs> the third thing that will keep you to med school please be confident be confident confidence is key and when i say be confident don't be overconfident or like just um how let's put it have faith in what you're doing have faith in what you're reading don't go into an exam hall or a test hall with the mindset that hey, well, i'm not going to pass this course or i'm not going to pass this test if you go with that mindset you're automatically automatically going to fail so go have the mindset that i can do this i can pass i can make it to med school or more because if you start doubting yourself, <laughs> oh my god, I've experienced that. I'm telling you guys how horrible doubting yourself is the worst thing that can happen to you in med school. It's the worst thing. So don't doubt yourself. Have confidence. Have faith in yourself that you can do this. And I promise you, everything is going to be okay. The fourth one, the fourth thing that you do need to do is you have to make time for your hobbies. Like. <laughs> make time to have fun what do you love to do do you love watching movies do you love i don't know sing? just make them like i personally i love watching movies i love watching movies so what i do is that when like when i'm eating i like watch something only when i'm eating it. are you serious after eating yes. So I just make time to have to like breathe outside my screen. Like it's not everything that's about anatomy, physiology, but then if you want to study other, just make time. Because if like you don't make time to have fun or you don't do things that you enjoy, you become so choked up and you'll be overwhelmed. So make time to have fun, make time to do whatever it is that you love to do, but do not get distracted. <laughs> just make amount of time but don't get distracted all right the fifth thing that will get you to med school is discipline discipline yourself like in your academics discipline yourself in, like your life in general discipline yourself um are you consistent reading consistency is key 
um before i entered to your level like my seniors were always telling me about consistency i never really understood it till i really really entered med school when you read every day and it, it might seem insignificant but i tell you it is not insignificant because you re you realize that when it's not time for the test or the exam things will get choked up what you read you read before so reading every day it is a practice that every med student must drill into themselves like reading every day consistently even if it's two pages read that two pages and i tell you it's not going to be in the rain read consistently prioritize your time prioritize your time know what you're in med school for and just set priorities set priorities organize a timetable just discipline yourself and know that okay i'm in med school for business let me like get into it and everything so the sixth yeah. thing i'm going to say that you must do or you should do is take pride in what you're studying take pride in what you're studying i don't mean be proud though <laughs> i just mean like you're you are a medicine student how do you carry yourself um i don't know there's this saying is it you attract what you are so you're a medicine student and you're going for exam and you're wearing slippers or you're dressing like i don't even know what you're dressing like or like you on a normal day you're dressing like i don't even know you're a medicine student you have to carry yourself have that aura <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying actually but behave like you are a medicine student carry yourself like do things in a way that a medical student will do things calmly be organized be neat dress well talk like you're a sensible person <laughs> what you guys get me but seriously you attract what you are if you want to attract that good grades if you want to attract that like just the name you have, you have to be up you guys on see what i just said because yeah so those are the six things mm -hmm. these are the six things so like just so important you must and i'm i'm like telling you guys if you follow this your life in med school will be beautiful it's not easy it's actually not easy i'm just talking <laughs> Come so when I'm actually like going through stuff, it's actually not easy. But since I've been, I've gone through it, um, I'm where I am. You can do it. Everybody can do it. So, fighting. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go. We're going to go to the next part of don't of med school. These are things that you should not do. You should not do this. The first one is don't always complain. I didn't say that you should not complain. No. You can complain, but not. All the time like every time you're complaining and when you even complain yourself complain to the right person because there are some people that you, you that are like you're complaining to and you feel it with like they will anger you the more because of their response so complain to the right person but don't always complain like sometimes you just have to just swallow it just swallow it and just move on so yeah don't, the, always don't get arrogant and when I mean arrogant, I mean like you're a medicine student or you're the whole world you, I, I don't know, like you're taking it on the top of your head, you're raising your shoulder that you're a medicine student. No, don't get arrogant, be humble. Because if you become a doctor, you're, you're like you're the servant of the people. So you have to learn humbleness from like now. Be humble. You. If, if, ah, if you're arrogant, med school will humble you. <laughs> So that humble yourself and don't even get arrogant and be like I'm the most intelligent. Blah 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 blah. Please don't don't get arrogant. All right. Then the next thing is do not compare yourself to others. This is so important. On no circumstances should you compare yourself to others. Everybody have their different ways of doing things. My way of reading can be different from your way of reading. Your, as in, so the right the best thing to do is to figure out your pattern of doing things and don't compare yourself to others or even if you're comparing yourself which you should not compare yourself in the sense that maybe i got um 14 in tesco and you got 60 and now what you should not do is be like hey whoa, this girl she got 60. Hmm. i will now start saying that maybe i was start saying that you you cheated or you did something bad to get that score instead if you're comparing if you should even compare yourself to that person compare it to motivate yourself be like this person now that got 60 does she have two heads i went in the same class oh yeah let me read twice twice as much to 
to get that 60 or to even get higher. Compare yourself and um, how do you put constructive criticism. Criticize yourself con constructively. So don't compare yourself to others. Yeah, and just be you, motivate yourself, try to be better than you were. If you got 40 in your previous test score, try to get 80 in your next test score, and you can do it. The next thing right. is do not forget your family and friends. <laughs> God. Don't forget your family and friends. I'm really trying not to. It's not easy because you get so stressed that sometimes like you cannot really be chatting. <laughs> We just take out time and call call your mom, call your dad, call your siblings, call your friends from secondary school, from home, from church, call your friends and like just hi. It was not do one long conversation, but just check up check up on them and comment on their posts just to know so that they will know that you're alive and so that you you will know that they're alive too. So, yes. So don't forget check up on them and everything because we'll we will all need each other. So do that and do not limit yourself don't make yourself average like in my school right the pass mark for our exam is 50 and if i'm reading am i aiming for 50 or i'm aiming for 80 or 90 do not aim for 50 because if you aim for 50 you fall down how how the saying go um shoot shoot to the moon so that eh? you can fall down within it so, Something like that. I'll figure out what the thing actually is. <laughs> so, do not settle for average. Set your bars high. So that even if, if you're like reading and you're reading to get 100, even if at all, at all, you fall. You fall among 70, 80, 60. But if you're reading to get 50, you fall under 40, under 30. Like, I hope you guys are understanding the logic I'm trying to use. Set your bar, set your bar high and focus and work on that goal. That's what I actually do. When anytime I'm reading for exam, I'm reading to get 100 or 90. Like, my MB that I'm reading for, I'm reading to get 100. And I can do it, hopefully, by God's grace. The last thing is, do the last thing is, do not get discouraged. Med school is a very troublesome place to be <laughs> why are you troublesome is that it, it's very troubling and it can get very depressing but don't get discouraged it's not easy saying this because there are some days that i feel so down i feel so unmotivated like unmotivated i'm telling you guys there are some days that i just feel so sad but don't get discouraged i mean failure is a part of life you can fail a test but that doesn't define who you are if you feel <laughs> good I just remembered one test I really did bad and I felt so I like I felt so down for two days. I was I, I was crying on my bed for days. Like anytime I, I lay on my bed, like I was crying. But I just had to like tell myself that me, like it's not as if I even feel the test because I just I don't know, the test was wasn't just favorable to me because I didn't seen the score. I just don't like the outcome. But I just told myself that, girl, this is not the end of the world, though. You have to just get up and, like, now I just had to tell myself that you have to, like, just get up and move on. And just, now, like, you feeling, feeling, okay, you're not be able to reflect and be like, okay, this is what I did that was wrong. Let me do this. Like, you get, so do not be this. Yeah. Alright guys, so that is about it for my do's and don'ts of med school. These are really practical things that I practice. I try to practice because it's not easy. I try to practice them and they've been helping me throughout. So I hope you guys will also apply this to your med school life. And I hope it's going to be favorable. So if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification, comment and share. <laughs> And I'll see you in my next video. Also, check out my other videos, please. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.